Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would sit down before I get wrapping and share with you what we have got Mia for her Christmas. So obviously this is going to be a present related video. So if you have little people around, it's up to you if you let them watch this or not. Basically, Santa has asked us to help him with the stocking and some little presents from him. So we have them here, but we also have presents from mummy and daddy or mama and pabby. And that's what I'm gonna go through today and share with you. So let's get started. Where should we start? It's so difficult. Obviously Mia is only two and a half, so we've only had a couple of Christmases of experience so far. And I'm already feeling like, how on earth do we not spoil her at Christmas time? And it's difficult to rein the Viking in. What I've done is basically just get her presents that I know that she will want to play with in the next six, nine, 12 months. The first one is a set of wings. How cool is this? And this is so easy for her to put on on top of her clothes so that she starts getting the idea of dressing up and playing different characters because I would love for her to have kind of like a dress up area in her bedroom where she can have her costumes, her Disney dresses, be a princess, be a footballer, be whatever she wants to be. But we're gonna start off with some sparkly pink wings and improvise from there. Mia is completely into painting right now, obsessed with it and wants to do it all the time. So at the moment we have this table behind me that's kind of her area, her little table and chairs. I painted the top of it with blackboard paint so that she can do some chalk drawing on it. And she does drawing right now, even though the Christmas tree's there, and she's fine with the Christmas tree being there. We've put the bobbles that she can play with at the bottom. So she's quite happy with that kind of setup. I went to Ikea before it closed. We have the big roll of paper and then a whole load of art supplies, which I am very excited about. Some jumbo crayons, stamped pens, coloring pencils and a sharpener. And then I also went to Sister Grena, which is a beautiful shop. If you have it in your country, you're very, very lucky. It is pretty affordable and they have some beautiful things inside. So have a little look for them. We have a coloring book, just really, really simple drawings that she'll color, color all over. And that would just be so cute to see. And then also a sticker book because she will no doubt get obsessed with stickers pretty soon. And so it's got pages of stickers and then pages that you can stick them onto to kind of create a little bit of a story or something. And to organize all the stationery, I got this, which I'm not even sure what it was originally. It has a funky little logo on the front of it, which maybe someone might know what that's from. Um, but basically just a little wooden pencil tidy that she can put all of her paint brushes and pens and pencils in and it can sit on here on the desk and it goes nicely with the sitting room because I don't want our home to necessarily feel like it is taken over by a toddler and their, their toys but I also want her to feel like she has a place in her home and is her things fit within our life and lifestyle. And so I think you can easily do that by, you know, using things that aesthetically work for you and your interior, but are kid friendly. Then we also have the Stickle Bricks, which I previously called them something completely different. These were from the charity shop and I just ran them through the dishwasher along with some toy cars and a whole bag of plastic animals, which I have been looking for for ages because actually this is something that back home in the UK I would just order on Amazon or something as easy as that. But that's not really that easy an option here and it would cost a huge amount to import and shipping and all that kind of thing. So I went to the charity shop and I've had a good rummage through and I got a massive big bag of animals, stuck them through the dishwasher and yeah, she's got a whole collection of toys now, so it's brilliant. Sticking with the charity shop or thrifted finds, we are very lucky that we stay quite close to a really, really good charity shop here in Reykjavik and I quite often just pop in. Recently, with all of the restrictions, that's been a lot harder, but I have 
a spare cupboard in our built-in cupboards in the bedroom and over the year I've just been stacking stuff away there and so I always have kind of birthday presents on hand or build up Christmas presents. So we have a whole collection of different things for Mia's little IKEA kitchen so that she can create a shop or a cafe, restaurant, whatever she wants to do. At the moment she will make you a cup of tea and bring you a garlic sandwich <laughs> or a cake with tomato on top of it. So it's quite random right now, but we managed to get a whole collection of wood and things, which I really love because aesthetically and environmentally that's much better than all the plastic things that I'm currently sticking in the dishwasher to clean, but they are just beautiful. So we have a little set of um, utensils, she's, so she's got a whisk, she's got a rolling pin and a ladle. She can also use these in the kitchen when we come to do baking and things so that would be really fun. I got a little tray, it was just a random tray in kind of the kitchen aisle but actually this will be good in her kitchen to store the different fruit and vegetables that she has in there. A little shopping basket, I think this is maybe from Tiger or something somewhere like that. But this will be really nice to pretend that she's doing her shopping. And then also, she has one of these at her Auntie Ella's and I just saw it and it's pink. So <laughs> I wanted to get it. She has a till. I put in new batteries so it's ready to go. And it's got some money inside here and also a credit card. So Mia is getting a credit card for Christmas. <laughs> And then going on to some of her main presents. So the main presents will be from mummy and daddy because as that little story goes around the internet, I definitely believe that the big presents shouldn't be from Santa. They should be from mummy and daddy because as she grows up and she talks about what she got from Santa with her friends, I don't want them to feel like one kid got more than the other. So. I really like the idea of small presents being from Santa and then the big presents come from mummy and daddy and that's that's completely up to the family then. So Mia is absolutely into dollies right now. Dolly pretty much does everything with us. And so to help with the bedtime routine, Dolly has a bed now. It is from Ikea, but because when I decided to get a bed for her dolly, the Ikea here was closed because of COVID restrictions. And so I actually managed to get this in a shop called Barnalopin, which is kind of a, a second-hand baby and toddler, well, or children, um, clothes and toy shop. So you can, you rent a stall and you can sell your kids items that they no longer use and so I managed to score this bed. Dolly is also getting a buggy. It has a really quite bad <laughs> seat in it. So my plan is that I'm going to redo this and sew her a nice personalised one and so that will go inside the frame. All I really wanted was the frame because I was always going to make this for her. So that is my evening project as soon as she's in bed. I've already cut out the material for it so I'm going to get stitching. And then the main, main present from mum and daddy is a balance bike and it's pink. <laughs> it's got a bell of course and I'm so excited. She is just gonna love this. I can't wait to go on family walks or family cycles as well and uh, take the balance bike along with us. She also has a stocking so I will go through that quickly with you. We have the hair clips from H&M, a few little toys. We've got a little spinning top, a little walking penguin and I think that Mia's favourite animal right now is a penguin so that's going to be upper street. And then she chose this in the supermarket. It's a little unicorn that grows in water. She has some socks because you've always got to get new socks at Christmas time. And then this is a little wooden pack of dolls. There's a whole family and they've even got a little dog and this is for her doll's house. And of course she'll also get a couple of Christmas chocolates in there and very importantly, the Clementine. So that is everything that we've got me up for Christmas this year. It is a lot, but as I said, a lot of it has been collected over the year and a lot of it is thrifted, so second hand. And I think that we've done pretty well for getting her a good variety of things, but not spoiling her. 
and it will be a lot to open on Christmas Day but we have two Christmases because we have the Icelandic Christmas on the 24th and then the British Christmas on the 25th so we'll kind of stagger the presents so that it's not too overwhelming for her and it will be much more enjoyable that way so she has a good few days of opening presents. That's it for this video. I hope that it's given you some ideas and I hope that you're excited to see how Mia reacts to all of her presents. Have a fabulous Christmas and make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in lots more videos soon. Bye guys!